So we left off with uh, the anchor chart and we used the anchor chart to help us realize the importance of the narrator and how that narrator pulls us along through the story but also helps us see how the authors try to influence our perspective, our understanding and our reality of things. So it's very important that we continue talking about the narrator. So you're going to be looking at a story now called The Ransom of the Red Chief by O. Henry. And for this particular story, you're going to be identifying who is telling the story, so who the narrator is. And we're going to do some more annotation. You're going to mark the words, phrases, and or sentences that reveal information about the narrator. In other words, about their character. What type of person is the narrator? Um, some, some descriptive adjectives that describe their character. So we're going to be doing that as we go through this story by O. Henry. Uh, and some of the names of those characters are Ebenezer Dorset, uh, the kid or Red Chief, and the partner in the story. So in the margin, explain what, what each of the highlighted portions reveal. So I'm not going to read the entire excerpt from The Ransom of Red Chief, just going to read some parts of it. And again, we're going to highlight or annotate some parts that help us reveal what kind of character the narrator is. Okay, so I think um, as we look at the first part, it looked like a good thing, but I will tell you. Now we can stop right there and highlight something that helps us figure out who the narrator is. The narrator I think is a first person, very personal narrator. I will tell you, so we're, so we're looking at the events through someone's personal set of eyes. So this is probably the most personal type of narrator that we can have, a first person narration. Another section of the text that I think says a little bit about who the narrator is, what kind of person the narrator is, is this part right here this kidnapping idea struck us. That tells me that the narrator and his partner had a little bit, or not a little bit, but a lot of free time. If you're going to sit there and consider how to kidnap someone, then you've got some uh, time on your hands that you're going to be doing some things that are not quite uh, on the up and up. Now, another thing that, another part of the story that I think says something about the character um, and maybe their education level or lack thereof in this particular case, if we go down uh, to the third paragraph, Bill and me had a joint capital of about $600 and we needed just $2,000 more to pull off a fraudulent town lot scheme in Western Illinois with. So. Oh, let me read one more line. We talked it over on the front steps of the hotel. Philoprogenitiveness, says we. Now let me just stop right there. We've got this part, says we. We also have um, something right here in very insignificant, or you might think it's insignificant, but you know, you're never supposed to end a sentence with the preposition with. And this is also not grammatically correct, says we. So I think what we can surmise from this part of the text is that the narrator and his partner were not well educated. So again, these are things that we can annotate in the margin that just helps us understand who the narrator is, what kind of person he is, and his partner. One final thing, toward the bottom, we can also underline this section right here. The narrator and his partner were throwing rocks at a kitten. Now, to me, that shows a pretty severe lack of compassion. So we've got three different things right here that we can say about the narrator and his partner about his character. 